concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury that is caused by a blow to the head or a blow to the body with an impulse of force transmitted to the head. It causes an alteration in the normal physiology of the brain that results in a metabolic mismatch. A metabolic mismatch is a functional disturbance that results in decreased glucose, decreased blood flow. How that plays a part is when you cognitively demand yourself. TV, reading, video games, schoolwork, you need more glucose. The problem with concussion is you can't make it because of decreased production. You can't bring it because of decreased blood flow. You get symptoms. The reason we don't have them exercise is you have to increase your heart rate. You need more blood flow. You can't, you get symptoms. So that's why our treatment is to have them do cognitive and physical rest. A concussion is diagnosed based on, uh, you have to have history of either a blow to the head or to the body with a transmitted force, and then uh, based on your physical exam, in which we look at uh, the vestibular ocular and balance. The initial symptoms of a concussion uh, are loss of consciousness, difficulty remembering events before or after the injury, uh, feeling kind of dazed, confused, feeling like they had their bell rung, headache, dizziness, uh, problems with their vision changes, nausea, balance problems, and ringing in the ears. A concussion is a functional disturbance, so it cannot be seen on a CT or an MRI since those are looking for structural injuries. I think it's important that uh, most parents know that 80% of concussions will get better within three weeks. Though there are 20% that will go on past a month, but if they are still symptomatic in a month, it is time for us to start doing interventions to help get them better. Thank you for choosing St. Peter's.